Hello guys, my name is Adam. Welcome back to our fourth episode of Azure Fundamentals course. In this episode, I'll take you through what is consumption-based pricing model in the cloud. Stay tuned. One of the most important things you need to understand when you start working with Azure is how Azure is pricing services. And to do that, you need to understand consumption-based model. And to help you understand that, I will use exactly the same example as in previous episodes. Naturally, a typical usage fluctuates over time. And to match that usage demand, you want to allocate as many resources as you need at any given time. Ideally, you will only pay for those resources during the time of the usage and only as much as the resources that you consumed. The first thing you should note is that there is no upfront cost because with consumption-based model, you only start paying when you start using the resources. And because cloud is elastic, you don't have to assign resources when you don't need them. That of course means there are no wasted resources and you're not paying for them. So simply said, with consumption-based model, you only pay for the resources when you need them and you stop paying as soon as you don't need them. But in order for this model to work, we need to understand one more thing. So let me use a service like a virtual machine as an example here. Charging for a service like virtual machine might be very tricky. So what Microsoft did is created a few metrics that the price is based on. First one is so-called compute. So this is the power of the virtual machine, the size of the virtual machine that you purchased. If your usage changes per day, if your size changes per day, you will be charged different amount each day. Additionally, with virtual machine, usually there's a storage attached. You are priced for that storage separately. So that if you have small machine, but a lot of storage, you will pay different price that if you have big machine and very low amount of storage. There are of course some additional metrics that are factored in in the price of virtual machines, like networking. Naturally, the amount of those factors is different per service because there are different services and they have different complexity because some services are easier to price, other are harder, but they are designed so that Microsoft can charge you appropriately to your usage. Therefore, in a consumption-based model, you have multiple pricing components per each service. Additionally, the charges are very, very granular. If you only use virtual machine for 20 seconds, you will only pay for 20 seconds of the usage. As an example here, I want to quickly go to Azure Portal, which is a powerful web-based self-service portal allowing its users to manage all of the aspects of their Azure resources. Inside of Azure Portal, there's a one service that interests us right now, which is the cost management service. Inside of that service, I can review the cost of my subscription. I think it's the best example to show you a real case of consumption-based model in Azure using my own subscription. And to do that, I will select my own subscription from the list. Now on the left-hand side panel, I will select cost analysis. And this will open a new window, which will allow me to analyze the cost of my own Azure subscription for the previous months and previous days. As an example, I will use a last month data to show you the costs. Let me scroll down here, select last month. I will change the granularity to daily and change the area chart to column chart. By default, you will only see the total cost per day, which is very hard to use if you want to understand where are the costs coming from. So my advice is always change the group by and select from the list the service name. This way you can review the cost of your Azure services divided by day and by the service name. In this case, on the screen, you can see a lot of colors. Each color indicates a separate service that I used. In this case, as you can see, my virtual machine costs are very flat. The reason for that is because I'm using the same virtual machine running constantly 24 by 7 every day. There are some additional costs related to storage because that virtual machine has a storage attached. Again, a flat fee because that storage is consuming the same amount of storage every single day. During one day on the June 19th, you can see the increase in the cost. And this is because I was using Azure Databricks service, which created some extra virtual machines. Therefore, my storage and virtual machine cost rose that day. If we look back a little bit, you will be able to see on the previous day some additional costs like logic apps because during that day I was performing some tests. Two days back, 
I was using Azure Data Factory, the same goes for last week. And if we go even further, IoT hubs were used. So what you can observe here is that on the days that I was using my services less, I simply was charged a smaller amount. On the days I did use them more, I paid more. It's as simple as that. Whenever I'm using my services, I'm paying based on my consumption. And if I use my data factory less on some day, I simply paid less. And that's pretty much it. Consumption-based model simply means paying for what you're using. For this episode, please go to my website to episode number four. And in the study guide, you will only find cheat sheet and the practice test because this was fairly simple episode. Try yourself, try what you learned and let me know your feedback. And that's it for this episode. I appreciate every single one of you that stayed until the very end. If you like what I do, support the channel by subscribing, liking and commenting. If you want to follow to the next episode, simply use the playlist or hit the icon on the side and see you in the next episode.